Hi lovelies, Emma, and today we are playing something a little bit different. Now, I've been watching the Origins series on YouTube with YouTubers like Aldi Shadow Lady, Smallish Beans, etc, etc. So I wanted to try it out, and this is my origin, by the way. I, I randomly picked Guardian, and it means I have to live underwater, and it means that I can, like, have... Aqua Affinity, it means I can have like Death Strider, it's just like it's really really cool. And Guardians don't attack me, so that is actually also really cool as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting some wood here. And like, I wanted to live with some Guardians because Guardians, although they are a bit of a pain because they attack things just at random. Um, I wanted to live with them because I've never actually lived with some guardians before and I was a guardian myself so I decided to, you know, live with guardians. <laughs> um, yeah, you could see that when I went out of land every time, um, my breathing air bubbles went down just above my uh, hunger bar. <laughs> That's a pain, by the way. Um, I just want to let you know, he is an absolute pain. But I really needed to get some saplings, because if I was going to live underwater, I'm going to need a good wood source. So I decided to get the closest tree to the coast, so I could literally just jump back in the water when I needed to. That's a big whale. Um, well, I don't know if that's a whale. It's more like a platypus or something. Uh, but yeah, I really needed like a good source of wood because if I'm going to be living underwater, the only source of wood that I'm really going to have is shipwrecks and that's going to be it. So like, yeah, I just <laughs> really needed to get some saplings. So uh, I got a few there, so that was that was pretty good. Uh, just, just getting some coal and some cobblestone so I can start my journey. But I really just wanted to play Origins, like it looks really fun and it, like it looks really cool. You get to be like this new person and it's like, oh my god, it's so cool. And um, yes, every time you die you get a new Origin. <laughs> so I'm trying so hard not to die at the moment because I want to stay a Guardian as long as I can because just imagine moving if I get like a land based origin and I suddenly have to move out of a, a ocean monument when I find one it's just like it's gonna be a bit of a pain because uh, moving all my items that I will find or hopefully find mm, kind of a nightmare <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to my first death when I get a new origin because hopefully I can stay guardian as long as I can and by the time I probably might die I'm gonna have quite a lot of stuff so yeah it's not gonna be great when I first die I am aware of that <laughs> but yeah it's it's not gonna be fun um I, but I, I, I think I need some food so let's kill some fishies I need to kill some fish and get. Oh, they ran away. Okay, oh, got me. Uh, right, there's another one. Where's, where's the. Oh, there it is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I need to get some food, and I'm pretty sure that fish and anything that as I would find in a shipwreck will be the only food I get. Because I get like. 10 seconds on land. I cannot get into the land <laughs> without dying. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I need to make the most of what is in the ocean. And I'm pretty sure from what I've seen on the series, the ocean is not a safe place anyway. Because um, you've got all these eels and stuff that just want to attack you. And luckily, we have... I haven't seen any piranhas yet. I'm aware that there are piranhas, but um, ooh, big hole. 
to investigate the hole. Some iron. Yes, please. Yeah, like I am fully aware that the that the ocean is like a, ooh, an extremely dangerous place. Because, <laughs> like, <gasps> wait, wait. Is this what I think it is? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, wait. Yep, yep, definitely is. So, <laughs> we found ourselves a lush cave, so we could... Oh, um, yeah, I can't break that. Uh, so, we can... Uh, we might be able to get some little friends. Oh, it goes down here as well. But yeah, I think we need to try and find ourselves some few, some little friends, but um, I think I need to, to get a better pickaxe first. Let's just, uh, let's just have some fun. Let's have, let's see if there's any, like, little friends swimming around. Is that, oh. This is the great joy of being a guardian. When you're out of water, you cannot see a thing. When you're in water, you can see everything. Make ourselves a shovel as well, so we can just dig down and prick. Uh, oh yes, right. We can uh, see. Kind of. There's plenty of uh, clay there, so there is a chance that there might be some water pools there for some things to spawn. Right. Let's make me a pickaxe. I feel like I'm already running out of wood, and I cannot really get any wood. Because um, I'm kind of a fish. <laughs> we can't get anything, but let's get this gold anyway. We got some booty. Oh my god, we could totally be like a pirate. Underwater pirate though. <laughs> we can just get the booty. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can find some little friends that we can in like make a little army of. Even though we're probably going to have like an army of guardians anyway. I mean, Guardians are probably more powerful than Axolotls, but who knows? I mean, Axolotls are um, transportable when Guardians are not. <laughs> Just imagine if you could put a Guardian in a bucket. That would be hilarious. We got, ooh, we took a fee. My booty. Let's see what's down here. See, there are little pools, but that I don't think they're going to be big enough for a axle to spawn it. It would be absolutely awesome to get axle because <laughs> axle lots are amazing. So I'll take some stuff, make it a little bit bigger for some axle to hopefully spawn. But I don't think we're going to get any. Yeah, just get some more stuff. Just pick it up. Why not? We might need it eventually. I have to be so wary of my my breathing. Like, just going out like one second and I'm already like down half of my my breath. Because guardians cannot breathe on, in air. So I have to be so careful. Oh, there's another bit over here. Let's see what's down here. Or if it, oh yeah, there is a bit. Um, I have to be careful here. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. There's big, there's, there's bigger pools. Yeah, I'm, I might need a bucket. Bucket might be helpful, just so I can uh, get some air pockets. I guess. I mean, that's it. That sounds kind of weird how I'm saying that water is air pockets, but. <gasps> Yes! Right, okay, 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 okay. We need to breathe and just get my, my breath back and then go, go. Oh, it's a yucky brown one, I think. Is it, was that yucky brown I th or is it pink? It's kind of hard to tell under this lighting. I think it was a yucky brown. Oh, it's a yucky brown one. See, I'd much rather have another color other than the yucky brown one, but I mean, it's an act a little, so I shouldn't really complain. Okay, let's see if there's another one. If there's another one, I can, I might be able to get rid of the yucky brown one. I mean, it's nice to know that there's a lush cave here somewhere. Because I, I actually quite like exploring lush caves. Like, 
They come with axolotls, what can I say? <laughs> Just get a few more things like moss pots and stuff. Is, uh, we may need some azalea trees at some point now. Azalea trees are pretty ill. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, ooh, glow squid. I think glow squid are pretty cool. I mean, there's. I don't, I don't know if they're slightly more useful than regular squid, but I mean, I they, they, they look pretty. I think I think we can get out of here now. Let's see what we let's let's try and f continue finding a uh, an ocean monument. I mean, it's, it's a really big cave. So yeah, let's let's just continue finding an ocean monument. I don't know how. Ooh, what is that? Oh, there's a turkey. What does turkey give? Ow, turkey give pain. Turkey give egg? Okay. Well, uh, let's continue finding our, our ocean monument home. Hopefully there will be one. Okay, so I went a really, really long way just to find this ocean monument. I did find one eventually. I mean, I found like lots of diamonds, I found lots of iron, and found like can I just say, finding ores underwater is so much better than finding ores in a regular cave. Because, like, being a guardian, you have um, night vision underwater, so it's just like, hey, that's, that makes making a mining trip a lot easier, because everything is literally just there, and you can see it all, and you're moving around super quick. But yeah, it's like I found this ocean monument and um, I decided to clear it out of particular good bigger guardians. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it was just tr it was definitely a struggle to to navigate around the monument. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a confusing one. <laughs> Um, literally right above the entrance, as soon as you get into the um, ocean monument, there is like this tunnel that goes straight up to the very top. And I did not see that, like I didn't know that that even happened in ocean monuments, so I was like, yeah, that's really helpful that it's there and I had no idea what it was. So I was literally just swimming around the ocean monument like a headless chicken and could not find the Elder Guardians. I mean, I found them eventually, so... <laughs> and um, I got this uh, like evolution thing where I just suddenly became a Elder Guardian myself. So I was pretty much like the boss of the Ocean Monument, which, you know, was pretty cool, so... And another thing that is really cool about being a Guardian is the fact that when you become an elder guardian you don't get affected by mining fatigue by the other guardians so <laughs> that was really cool as well like i could actually mine to get to the other guardians or elder guardians <laughs> but i didn't i obviously didn't realize this until quite late like when i killed that first guardian and somehow leveled up I didn't notice that uh, the mining fatigue had gone, but the other Elder Guardians just kept on giving it to me, but I just, they didn't actually give it to me, and they were just wasting their time. So <laughs> that was really cool, but I, obviously I didn't actually realise that until quite late, to be honest. So I was again running around like a headless chicken trying to find out where I had to go to find the other Elder uh, Guardians. But um, yeah, eventually I just I, I, I dug through the roof because um, why not? And <laughs> that, was, uh, that was it. I, I, I did find the other Elder Guardians, obviously. <laughs> it wasn't fun. I mean, at this point, I still had um, mining fatigue because obviously it doesn't run out straight away. But uh, yeah, it was a, it was a challenge navigating this this monument. 
I'm not gonna lie, it was it was definitely a struggle. But <laughs> we we conquered it eventually. So uh yeah, here's one and two. Elder Guardian's dead. So that's all three of them dead, and um yeah, I just decided to set up shop in the gold room. I'm gonna say it's a gold the the gold room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is my first little adventure with Origins. I hope you guys will enjoy this series because it's actually really cool and yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to, to be fish. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.